For this video, I'd like to look at a little bit more of the features that I've been working on for my brew app. Uh, this is splash screen again. This is the brew guides, selecting each different method. Um, I worked on grind chart, and I kind of have a visual here showing kind of as an indicator uh, the type of grind, find course, and kind of a description of how each of them are used. Um, I worked a little bit more on tips, um, put a little bit more content in there. I didn't do anything to conversions, and I don't have store. So going back to the guides, I have the same pour over guide here. Um, but one thing I really did work on is the espresso. So um, this icon here kind of has a visual of the different ratios of espresso steamed milk and foam milk and it has the milliliters of each over here. Same for the cappuccino, americano, and this is a mocha down here. And this layer being chocolate. Going back to the guides um, and the immersion brewing guides, I talked about this a little bit last time that I wanted to have kind of a walkthrough while you're brewing the app or while you're brewing your coffee using the app um, to guide you through each of the different steps. So um, this is a general overview of how to brew the siphon pot coffee. But if you go to the brew timer page and click start, it'll give you a step by step with a timer of how to um, brew the coffee. And I sped this up to have 10 second intervals instead of the standard 30 second intervals just so that it would fit in this video. Um, but it counts down and it has a different instruction at the end of each count and the start button starts the timer so you, the user can start it right when they pour in the coffee and this is yeah this is what I've had so far on my app um, I've gotten good feedback from how, um, how I have it laid out color schemes images so I think I'm gonna stick with what I have mostly um, but yeah this is my progress so far thanks for watching